We, we want to get to this segment. This is the other part of the segment. We're going to stay on the unions. Unions get their clout from the money they collect in union dues. Have you ever wondered where all those billions of union dues goes? go? Take a look at this. Hey, union members. You're used to paying union dues. You probably don't even think about it anymore. But you should think about it. You should know exactly where your money is going. Unions are big businesses. They can rake in hundreds of millions of dollars a year. They do it by taking dues directly from your paycheck. That clip is part of a new video by the Competitive Enterprise Institute. I want to welcome uh, Labor uh, of Policy Council at CEI, Vincent Vernuccio. Vincent, tell us about it. Um, so what? What's the big deal? Uh, union, union members pay their dues. They, they give it to the, uh, the, 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 the powers that be, and they put money in politicians' pockets that will give them jobs back. Is that a bad deal? Well, it's a bad deal because, first of all, unions in 28 states don't have a choice whether or not to pay dues. They are forced to simply for the fact to keep their jobs. And what they're doing is they're giving money to these unions that spend more on politics and administration, I, a.k.a. paying their own salaries, than they do on representing their own members. Going back to the UAW, the UAW has more members, has five, over 500 excuse me, employees making over a hundred thousand dollars than they do employees making under a hundred thousand dollars and that money comes directly from the workers dues oh uh, hang on there hang on senator why should we care how the union spends the dues that they collect <laughs> Be, you know during this past election, you read day after day how the Republicans were spending and outside money was coming in. And at the end, you found out that the Democrats spent more. And where did it come from? The big labor unions, the power brokers. They in this state of New York have helped bankrupt the state. Uh, bankrupt it with the pension programs, etc. And by the way, let me tell you what they would do. They'd go into a race, if you didn't support their position, and they would pour in money like you've never seen. So you've seen... For the other guy. Oh, if absolutely. If you weren't supporting the unions, what and about they one? Never uh, Listen, you know what? You say, Senator, New York, you should visit California if you want to see what unions and, uh, and pension plans that are just overwhelmingly obnoxious have done to a state government. You, and even on the Democratic side, going to Arkansas, they went after Blanche Lincoln, weakened her in terms of being a Democratic prospect in the primaries, and then she gets beaten in the general. So what you're seeing here is the unions have become the political source of money for the Democratic Party and liberal movements, and there is a cycle here. They put the money in to candidates who they believe are going to feather those pensions and create more government jobs. Yeah, right. And that it's takes so away going back, from the going general back to economic the Blanche prosperity Lincoln race. of this country. Go, go ahead, sir. Uh, going back to the Blanche Lincoln race, I got to quote a White House official after the primary that said the unions just flushed $10 million down the toilet. You look at the, uh, the entire congressional, uh, two th 2010 congressional race, uh, the biggest independent I, I, expenditure Vincent, was AFSCME, Vincent, which spent I over stay, $91 million. I want to stay right dollars. here into t today's news. Monica, here's a, I'm going to make this leap. I'm going to make this jump that 17% of GM was going to the UAW because, you know what, that's quite a few. I think they have 2 million uh, voters. Absolutely. Look, part of the outrage, in fact, most of the American people's outrage over these bailouts, in particular the uh, auto bailout, is that it wasn't an economic act to bail out General Motors. It was a political act to bail out General Motors. And what the American people are so outraged about is that in a free market system of the kind we used to have, I don't know if it still qualifies, there have to be consequences to bad actions. So instead of coming hat in hand constantly to the government to ask for a bailout, and I don't care if you're General Motors or the state of California, which is about to turn around and ask Washington, D.C. for a bailout, maybe New York and Senator, Illinois are close behind, Senator, the American people have had it up to here with a series of bad decisions if, over many years that got us into if this If we're fix. right, and it, it, why would the Obama administration want to bail out Wall Street? There are no votes there. Well, look, uh, I, I, l l let's uh, look at this thing. To be fair, to be fair, and I think the Obama administration has handled this financial situation terribly, but it was started by Paulson. And instead of saying, hey, listen, you'll fight for bankruptcy, we'll come in, we'll reorganize. Oh, no, they said, oh, this impact will be catastrophic. This has been going on. This is incredible. We have a system in America called the bankruptcy, called receivership, called restructure to deal with it. And our politicians took an easy way out because while 
Oh, Bush's team may have been bailing out Wall Street. The Obama team was also equally guilty in going down, bailing out the unions. All right, very and good. It was wrong. We're going to have to leave it there, guys. Coming up, take a listen to this.